Hi, I'm Glenn, City of Adam Fishing Field Team, COAF Field Team, and this round it's January 25th, and we're just going to recap a uh, trip. Finally did the demo where we went over to Carruth Park in Dallas to uh, demo the trout fishing strategy where we're using spinning gear. So uh, let's take you over there. Uh, the big takeaway is, well, we didn't uh, limit out. Uh, bottom line, uh, yours truly's mojo was off. Uh, had the opportunity to limit out once we found the pattern. Just uh, missed uh, about four, four trout or four uh, hook sets. And then the cormorant came in and after that it went downhill. So, did get three though. All right, let's go take a look at the trip. And let's just start off with, well, breakfast of champions, Krispy Kreme donuts. Okay, it's uh, January 25th, Saturday morning, and we're finally a little bit, I think we're almost over this cold. Still got a little cough here or there, but uh, <coughs> today we're going to go ahead to Dallas, to Carruth Park. They stocked it with trout on the 22nd, so about three days ago. And this round we're just going to bring spinning gear so we can do that demo of how we do um, that trout fishing strategy with spinning gear. So we've got uh, two rods with us, and hopefully we can show you what we can uh, accomplish using that strategy. <coughs> well, we still got the cough, but we got Krispy Kreme also. We've got the uh, chocolate as well as the original glaze, fresh, hot, off the uh, little oven. And we got a deal of coffee, Krispy Kreme coffee. So um, if we're still coughing. Hopefully this will knock out a little bit of it. All right, wish us luck. Okay, so we're uh, here, there's the park, and right over there, and the gear that we have is a spinning gear, so let's go uh, take a look at it. Okay, so here's the park, it's uh, about 8, 8.30 in the morning, and here's the setup. We've got two rods, as we mentioned in our strategy, both ultralights, or lightweight, four pound, six pound test, <coughs> one is rigged up for bait. So we've got a Carolina rig set up, so we've got a weight here. We've got a little bead right here to stop it, and about maybe 16, 18 inches to the hook. And that's our bait setup. And then we have another one that's set up with just a super duper at this point. And what we'll do is um, we'll test out the waters. And before we head out there, we'll just kind of take a look, see. We can see some folks over here to the left. We can see some folks straight back that way. I know in the past we've seen them catch them over there where those folks are. Uh, additionally, in the middle of the pond, right on the other side is a fountain area that we were seeing them catch them too. So right now the action doesn't look too um, too fast, but let's take a look at it. All right, uh, the last time there were a lot of leaves here, so it looks like the leaves are gone. Water's not too clear. Got some water movement. <coughs> we'll have to check it out. Start out with the uh, with the lure, maybe. So at this point, we've observed we're uh, using bait versus uh, lures and trying to find the pattern. And so we've got uh, uh, a lure currently, and we're just looking for the pattern at this point. Oh, there's a hit. All right. Okay, so hit it on the drop. Two count, three count. Let's try it again. It's gold super duper. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4, 4,000. Turn, slow, drop, slow. All right, so in our bag of tricks, we got a bunch of stuff here. We got the rat tails, mouse tails, these little other deals, and then we got these power worms. We'll try the power worm first <laughs> before we actually switch over to some power bait. All right, and we'll set it up wacky rig style. So let's do it. Right here. Let's see what that does. Right there. Okay, well, we had him on uh, a rooster tail. Had a strike on the 
brass one, and then um, a super duper. And then we had a strike on the uh, on the um, rooster tail. Nothing on the power worms. Did nothing on the power balls either. Nuggets, but slow retrieve, steady. Um, had a hit, lost them though. All right, so uh, seen a couple of them caught so far. Trout. Uh, so far, I got a hit off the super duper. Got a hit off the uh, rooster tail. Both of them brass. We got a silver cast master on here that we'll try in a little bit, but I'm gonna try bait real quick and see if something will hit. All right, another one over there. Woohoo! All right, they're in the pond. All right, let's try this uh, cast master. All right, now we'll try some trout dough bait. See what that does. All right. Okay, so we're getting a hit. See the line going out. So over here, we'll kind of pick it up. Close the bale. I guess it's trout bait today. Just kind of bring in the line a little. See if he's still messing with it. I think he got our bait. See if he stole it. Oh, bummer, he took it. Oh, well. Okay, so uh, power worms didn't work. Power nuggets didn't work, but it looks like trout dough bait will. So let's give that a shot. All right, we're getting a hit. Barely hit it, though. Man. There he goes. He's taking it. He's taking it. There he goes. All right. So today it's going to be our beat. Not bad looking. All right. First fish of the day. All right. So uh, bottom line, we try different lures. We're going to settle on a pattern with trout bait. Let's go take a look at that trout bait. This is this natural scent trout bait with salmon egg. So of course it's got a bunch used already so we'll see how long we can last without that all right here's the little power nugget that didn't work so let's go back to trout bait and we'll just get a big clunk of it like that and then put it on the hook we're just using a salmon egg hook normally we'll if we really want to get them we'll put trouble hooks on but for now the salmon egg hook will work we'll just mush it on there Make a nice little smorgasbord trout bait ball. How about that? Let's give that a shot. I'll just toss it right out there. Give him some line. Hey, okay. let's see if we get another one. All right, we got another one playing with it. <clears throat> Let's see if he decides to commit. There we go. All right, he committed. All righty. That's a nice size one. Bigger than the other one. All right, cool beans. All right, so that's number two. Here's a little chunk of that trout bait. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <coughs> Let's see what we can do with this baby. All right, so all it is is salmonade hook. They've been taking it deep. And uh, we just put it on there, mush it on there, and make it basically look like something very tasty. Of course, it really smells too, so it's all over my hands and pants now. <laughs> All right, let's give it another shot. Now, one thing that we were talking about, observe and, and whatnot, well, a couple of years ago, this is what we saw them hitting last time. So, looks like they're back here again. Of course, we did see them hitting last time over here 
on the other side, but that was when the fountain was going. No fountain this time. Hmm. Okay, so when we fish like this, we tend to just put the line in the water and we watch the line movement. So we're actually not holding the pole until it's time to pick up. And so we see the line kind of tightening up a little bit. Uh, at that point, we'll pick it up. Okay, so we can see the line tighten up a little bit. And he's probably playing with it. So let's go ahead and pick it up. And close the bail. And we'll just watch the line now and see if it tightens up on us. And we're using that Carolina rig, so I uh, really don't feel any weight on their end. Let's see if we can maybe need to tighten up a little bit on the line here. Maybe he stole our bait. Yeah, he may have stole our bait. Bummer. I guess we better check it. No, the bait's still there. All right, let's go try it again. Okay, this one's taking it. All right, got him. All right, that one was in a hurry to take it this time. Smaller one, still counts. All right, number three. Cool beans. Okay, so uh, the uh, pattern today, using the spinning gear, is bait, trout bait, in this variety. Uh, we normally would be, well, we go with a pattern, so we'd be using lures, we'd be using whatever other things we have in our arsenal, uh, be it lures, bubber, bubble, bobber, uh, bubble floats with fishing flies, uh, but in this case, today it's trout bait. Do have some uh, cheese, have some bread, have some salmon eggs also. Well, actually we got the salmon eggs, the cheese and bread are in the car. But this is what we're going to go with right now. See what we can do. Alright, so a good hint of a good spot. Look where everyone else has poked holes in the ground where they put their rod holders. <laughs> well, maybe that's a good idea to keep aware of. So look at this. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, fourteen. Holy cow. I guess it's a good spot. Over there, Corman got in. Bummer. <clears throat> guess they found him. <laughs> Alright, it's gonna be tough now with the water turkey. It's gonna steal all the trout on us. Okay, so that was a fun trip. Uh, although we only got three, um, those cormorant really messed up things with uh, bringing the uh, trout down, but we did see other folks still catching a few afterwards. Yours truly kept at it, but then, well, Mojo was off, just could not uh, hook up with the um, with the trout when we were setting the hook. So we should have limited out, but that's fishing. Can't get them all. So hope this uh, video uh, kind of demos the trout fishing spinning gear strategy that we posted on that infographic I think a couple of weeks ago but uh, hopefully um, a video gives more than just a picture um, can explain a little bit more in detail as to how we look for the pattern so the key um, we use two different rods one for lures one for bait uh, once we found the pattern we shifted to that particular lure or um, uh, rod in this case bait fishing and then from there, we were able to at least get those three before the Cormorant showed up. All right. Until uh, next time, we'll catch y'all later. And if you like what we're doing, do like and subscribe. Good luck and good fishing.